So, how do I align with my higher self? Good question. Always follow your highest excitement. In any given moment. Without hesitation. And without expectation. And you might just be blown away by the reality that manifests in front of your eyes. So the way to align with higher selves is through our excitements, because excitement is like the physical translation of higher self in physical reality. Like a higher self is like, um, like a version of ourselves that exists in spirit and it's like um, it contains our highest potential it is the part of us the part of us that we can't tap into with our physical mind but we learn to tap into through our, through our excitement and our passion and our joy and our intuition and it is the part of us that contains our highest potential it understands what our mission is on planet earth it understands why we here, why we're here and where we're going and the way to tap into this is to follow your excitement moment to moment so that which brings you joy, that which brings you bliss, that which brings you ecstasy, but this can also be like a heart-centered, grounded, peaceful state. This is our higher self, this is the guidance of the higher self. And this is the higher self saying, move this way. This is the fastest direction to everything you desire, to spiritual enlightenment, to expansion, to more abundance, more wealth, to extraterrestrial contact, to whatever you desire, is whatever your highest calling is in life. When you're following your excitement moment to moment, it's always the most direct path to your, to your highest excitement, even though it often doesn't seem it, because from our mind's perspective, it tends to go here, 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 but it's always the most direct route to our highest calling, our highest passion. And like our excitement literally is our higher self. So when you hear this idea of higher self and aligning with higher self, you could literally just reword that to excitement because excitement is like the physical translation. That's how it comes through in reality. So whenever you feel excited to do something, like if you feel excited to go down to the beach, that's your higher self saying, Yes, this is the way, become aligned with me. This is the way to more enlightenment, more expansion, more discovery of who you are. And yeah, and as we're on this extraterrestrial contact path, if extraterrestrial contact is your highest excitement, it's like it will always lead, lead you through following your excitement moment to moment, even if it appears completely unconnected, it will always lead you down the path to the fastest route to making contact if that is in your highest high selves um if that's in your life plan your life theme so like today i am like last night i was having like these dreams of connecting with counterpart um extraterrestrials some sirius and also possibly seventh density guides if there is such a thing i don't even know what seventh density is but i really resonate in my heart these are seventh density guides on some level and that's strongly intertwined with the extraterrestrial contact and but also mainly from Sirius. I've got this real strong feeling lately that I've got counterparts from Sirius. I'm really connecting with Sirius energy. And Sirius energy is um, the dolphin energy, the sea energy, the marine world. Bashar has always said, if you're strongly drawn to the sea, it's like you've got a strong connection with Sirius. And I've always been a sea water person. So, and so today, you see my, my excitement's led me here. I've ended up, I wasn't even planning on coming here really. I suddenly remembered about this place at the last minute and sort of turned off, it's a beautiful place called um, Danes Dyke near Bridlington. I highly suggest you check it out if you're in the area. And yeah, so it sort of brought me here today and I'm connecting with the sea energy, this blue energy. And I, I feel it's part of connecting with the serious energy, getting back in tune with that serious, that sort of blissful, dreamy, watery, marine, ecstatic state. Yeah, and when you're following your highest excitement, it'll often bring you places like this, because places like this are much higher vibration. Like there's cliffs just here on the side of a cliff, and like rocks always hold, like they don't get polluted by human vibration so easy. Because when you're in a city, all the buildings and all the concrete and all that, they absorb all the negative energy, and concrete's quite low vibration to start with. And because it's human manufactured, it's not good for the environment. And, and it also absorbs all the stress, like if you're working in the city, you're going to be like stressed out probably and like some, and most people working they don't even want to be in their jobs and this energy all gets absorbed in the environment but when you're following your highest excitement you tend to resonate with these high vibrational um, na places in nature like this where it's beautiful and just by following your excitement to moment to moment you'll tend to end up in these beautiful places and um yeah so really following your excitement moment to moment it's going to take you 
you're going to discover everything you need. Uh, Bashar says following your excitement it's the complete kit. It's the, it's the driving force. It moves you in the direction you need to go. You say I'm excited to go to the beach. I'm excited to go to the sea. So you go where you need to go. And um, it's the creative principle. It actually, because we, as you, I've discussed in the previous video, we create our reality within our consciousness moment to moment. And when you're following your excitement, you're actually creating a, an exciting reality for yourself, which is more in alignment, more aligned with your higher self and the extraterrestrials. Because the extraterrestrials live in this constant state of joy and bliss, at least the ones I'm planning on connecting with do anyway. And because um, I connected with this last night in the dream world, it's like, and, um, yeah so it's the complete kit it's the driving force it drives you in the direction down the path you need to go moment to moment so you say to yourself what is the most exciting thing i can do now that i have the ability to act upon and act upon it to the best of your ability without expectation because the secret without expectation is when you have it because you're creating your reality out of your excitement and as bashar says it to the, phys what, to the physical mind is the ceiling, to the higher mind is the floor. Because the, the, the physical mind might say, oh, the best thing I can happen today is a nice, beautiful day at the beach. But to the higher self, there is infinite possibility. And, the, and if you um, sort of let go and trust in your higher self, and trust that your higher self can deliver you exactly what you need to progress down your path, it will do. And you can really create really magical realities for yourself this way. So yeah, so it's the driving force. As I said, it's a creative principle, but it also brings to the surface everything you need to look at within yourself to, um, to become more in alignment with your higher self. See, we have all these human beliefs, these lack beliefs, these fear beliefs that we, um, you know, we always worry about money. We worry about paying bills. We worry about how, falling out with our partners. We worry about this and this and this. And it's all, it's all really not relevant. See, we have this human programming that we need money to be happy. We need a partner to be happy. We need such and such and such. We need, we need, we need, we need. But really, we don't actually need anything because um, joy and bliss and ecstasy is the natural vibration of creation. It's the natural vibration of our true selves. It's the natural vibration of our true nature. And when we let go of all these negative beliefs, it's actually only the negative beliefs that are actually making us feel bad. See, we have this, we have this belief come up like, I need a partner. I'm going to be lonely if I don't meet my, my soulmate. And it feels bad but it doesn't feel bad because we're not going to meet a soulmate it feels bad because the belief is not true every time you have a, a thought or a belief that feels bad it's a sign from higher self that it's not true and it's something we need to look at and when we're following excitement moment to moment we are we're bringing to the surface all these beliefs all these negative beliefs within ourselves. We follow excitement, our vibration raises, we become more euphoric, more ecstatic. And the higher you go, it like you can't hold on to subconscious negative beliefs, fear beliefs, lack beliefs. So they will come to the surface. And you're you often find, like when you're on the spiritual path, that to start with, you, you, you people tend to get more fucked up, more screwed up, more depressed. And it's because all your subconscious stuff that you suppress, like traumas from your childhood, negative beliefs, the lack beliefs I've just talked about, they're all coming to the surface and they get increased. They like get intensified. It's like your high vibration starts making a resonate, high vibration. And what before was just like, oh man, I might not find a girlfriend. Oh, I'm not gonna get a girlfriend. Holy fuck, I'm gonna be depressed for the whole life. And they all like come to the surface for processing. And this is, this is why following your excitement is the complete kit for aligning with higher self, because it, um, it drives you in the direction you need to go to um, raise your vibration, and it, it creates your reality before you, it creates everything you need, and it, create, and it brings to the surface anything that's out of alignment with that high vibrational, joyful, blissful state for purging, for healing. And as we come into this state, we're coming into a state much more like the extraterrestrials, because in a way, extraterrestrials are a reflection of our higher self, because our higher self is like this blissful, joyful God consciousness. And in a way, extraterrestrials are very closely connected to this. They're almost like part of this. It's hard to explain, hard to understand, but it's like higher self is reality. It's like, um, like, because our reality is within our consciousness and it's like, you know when you see symbolism, like you see um, you see signs, like a lot of people in the spiritual path are into symbolism and signs, like, oh, I see a sign, you know what I mean? You're not sure to do something. You're thinking, um, should, should, should I go to the beach or should I go to the fair? And all of a sudden you open the paper and it says, oh, why not go to the beach? You know what I mean? It's a sign. And this is your higher self speaking to you because everything is a reflection of us. We create our reality within our consciousness. And it's like higher self, part of higher self, you could say higher self is our outer reality, our wider reality. 
and I can't remember where I was going with this but yeah yeah oh yeah because yeah and the ETs are like part of our higher self it's like as we evolve and as we become more consciously evolved we become more expanded more one with creation more one with the universe we're plugged into the motherboard of all that is divine inspiration flows through us we raise our vibration and our outer reality reflects that and we see and it's like our consciousness becomes higher our consciousness becomes more expanded we become like this channel for divinity and so we start um, creating out of our own consciousness extraterrestrial contact and this is what happened with me when I had the sighting with what I believe may have been Saibo he like came into the reality and it was like okay when you have these extraterrestrial sightings if you're already very tuned in to expanded states of consciousness like presence i am oneness bliss infinity and you will see it reflected back to you very viscerally in extraterrestrial contact it's like um i had a vision in my head of my yaya counterpart and i could so clearly see it was me it's like oh my god it was me it's quite quite bizarre when you see yourself in another being so clearly and i also see it in cybo in the sky if it was cybo i believe it was and um yeah it's like cybo is appearing out of my own consciousness it's like this is higher self and cybo is higher self and it's like um, as we evolve and become more conscious and more expanded we um, are, um, it's almost like we connect with the space, with the sky. You can feel your own consciousness in the sky. And um, yeah, and you feel it in more viscerally when you see these UFOs, because they're so conscious, they're so hyper-conscious. When you see these UFOs in the sky, your consciousness just goes, Zzz. it's like you become one with them. You go, Zzz. it's, um, yeah. And so that's it. So when we align with higher self through following excitement and our resonance and our vibration and this, this God resonance, this higher self, this high vibrational energy comes through us. We become conscious with all of infinity and um, it's reflected back to us. And this is how we accelerate extraterrestrial contact through following a high excitement and our higher self. And it really is the most important thing, as I understand, to uh, move toward extraterrestrial contact, to become more of ourselves, to remember who we are, to align with higher self, align with our divinity, align with our love, our compassion, and our joy, and our inspiration to serve humanity. And we, um, through the law of attraction, we create similar beings to us. We attract extraterrestrials into our reality that exists in a state of constant joy, ecstasy, bliss, and service to others. Because when you're in this state of ecstasy and bliss and oneness with, uni one with, with the universe, there's nothing really left to do but to serve it and to share, to share with humanity and to raise their vibration. Because what else are you gonna do? What else is there to, um, to seek when you're, when you're ecstatic and joyful? The, ex the ecstasy and joy of the rest of your civilization? and and so yes and so when we are in this state of service and ecstasy and bliss and joy and expansion and connectedness and divinity we reflect back to us through the law of attraction similar beings or or even more ecstatic even more evolved even more high vibrational resonant service to others beings and this is why this is how aligning with higher self is the is the cornerstone for extraterrestrial contact as we become more enlightened, as we become more spiritual, we become like them and we reflect them back to us. We become them, we become one being. Oh, I saw a flashing light on the sea, maybe. Oh shit, that was a landslide. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, so, align with higher self, follow your excitement. Shivai, have a good day.